boy. Just what could have been in that strange woman's drawer? Let's find out. It was when I tried to look into that drawer. What? She held her pants. Oh, so what? She has personal things. She has privacy. There has to be- What? What fucking even makes you think that? Well, let's go- Oh, let's break into her hotel room. This guy's still on the job? Alright, well, put him in the investigation. You want a present? Do you want your phone? I'll just keep it. Do you want the murder weapon? Here's some here's some glass if you want it. <laughs> the screwdriver's probably just her fixing her personal use item. Personal use item? What's a what personal use item would need a screwdriver? I saw that too. Yeah, you can have some broken glass. This this was in your sister's office. It's something to remember her by. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of glass. I like that. Oh, well, if it's that kind of personal use, you can just use the screwdriver. Present. I don't have any presents. We're, we're in court right now. Okay. Go to the hotel. Okay. Well, who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? Bellboy? Um, oh, you're fucking her! Yo, you're fucking- Okay, I'm calling her right now. You are fucking her, because the drinks are for you. That's why there's two drinks on the table. You give her tea, and you give her the dick. And they- and you only tell her your name is Bellboy, so she doesn't get your real name. And you- and- and you're at my service, but you're certainly at her service as well. Case closed. Pack it in. We are off the job. Case three. Please proceed to arrest the culprit. Oh boy. Not for real though, you fucking that chick or what? She's she probably give she probably gives real good sex. I've just come up to deliver room service. Do you know where Miss May might be? Oh, I'm saying that? Okay. So he doesn't know. I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the facilities. Which is code for my own penis. Um But if you need anything, I'll just get out of here. Please stay as long as you like. In her room? I don't... Why you let me do this? Okay. See ya. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? How do they do that? I don't know, I don't know who that was. What do I care? Now's my chance to snoop around! Oh, he's back. I almost forgot. You come back quick. Well, he's a bellboy. He's gotta be top-notch. Um... Ask me to inform Miss May. There's a message for her. Mr. White. Oh shit, wait, we're covering some shit now. Is it that Mr. White? Of Blue Corp? Well, we don't know if- there's probably a few Whites out there in the world. <laughs> Please just take that sentence and make it into something nice. Few Whites out there that I haven't gotten my hands on yet, more like. What was the name of that guy? Well, we don't know that if- Well, it's of course the same guy, but you shouldn't just know right away. Could it be a coincidence? How many whites? I guess we'll just have to kill all whites! Alright, what's the screwdriver for? There's a screwdriver sticking out of there. Now's my chance to touch her stuff. What do we have here? What? What? Okay. Why- yeah, why does she have this? Why was she defensive of it? I don't know what the fuck this was for. She... into some shit? There's definitely something suspicious. Yes, there is. Why did she- why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright, I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. For what? What's that have to do with anything? Ah, just kill everyone, and then there'll be no case. <sighs> I'll get to this woman's bottom! Oh, Bellboy. Still there? Oh no, she's coming! Did you say that out loud? 
Did he talk to himself? Time to scram! Jumps out the window. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. What? What do you mean to be continued? I still- I own the game still. Yeah, save. The game doesn't just end because I progress in it. Still going. Not done yet. The case hasn't even been resolved. So we're in courtroom number one this time. We're moving up in the world. Oh, it's him. He's a... he's an English senator. That sentence made complete sense. Court is now in session. Prosecution is ready, and I'm ready too. Defense is ready too. Oh, it's the same judge! He and I are tight. He'll be for sure on my side. Better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Faye, was at the scene of the crime. That is my opening statement. The prosecution is evidence she committed this murder. We have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution is awesome because my hair is real nice, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If uh, if you may call me cool, Your Honor, that'd be real cool. Sustained, Edgeworth. The prosecution calls the chief officer to the scene, and his name is Detective Gumshoe. Um, no laps from the jury, please. Anyone in the gallery who wants to ridicule this guy, now is your time. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir. My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. It's a real name. Here's my birth certificate. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct. So, Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Alright, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. I want to see what he thinks hap what you think happened. So, this is the... The body was found by the wind... What? Is this supposed to be the body? What is that? It's not even an arrow. What is that fig... What is that shape? I don't even know what that looks... It looks like a used condom. <laughs> I think you're at the wrong case, Gumshoe. I don't know if we're on... We're understanding exactly what happened. The cause of death was loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker. Well, okay, that gets to be an arrow. I have no idea what this is fucking supposed to be. He's not a good artist. That was him trying to draw the victim. Uh, it was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand. It's not a weapon, it's a clock! What are you fucking talking about? Who accepts the statue as evidence again? They're still calling it a statue. Yeah, the judge learned! Is this a new judge? Does every judge look like this in this world? Ah, uh, okay. The detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Because I can, it's my job, and I can do it, I can get away with it, so I fucking did it. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Let's hear it. So, okay, so, yeah, now I get to object to whatever bullshit he tries to spew out. Okay. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Likely story, I believe it. There are two people there already. And the defendant, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. That's true. Okay. Immediately arrested. Yeah, we, you shouldn't have done that, though. Why? We had a witness account describing her. That's never been a- No! No! Okay, objection. The witness saw Miss Maya Fey at the very moment of the murder. Absolutely objection, sir. I can't object yet, he has to finish the thing first. The very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Thanks, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? The fact that he just made all that up. I couldn't see a single contradiction. Well, it's bullshit. Whoosh. What? Whoosh. I just threw something at me. Okay, is this evidence? When my sister couldn't find any con- How- Someone must have seen her write this and throw it. What? She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. Yeah, you could do that. 
slips up and slips up and says something wrong. Well, we're not trying to discredit him. We're just trying to say the investigation was fucked up. It worked lots of times. Should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's get. I think I think she's secretly talking to her from beyond the grave, and her ghost has possessed Maya's body, and she's helping me in court now. Uh, no, Your Honor, I'd just like to begin my cross examination. Yeah. Okay, I, I got a few things I could just specify for the jury. Um, as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Could you... Did you trace the call? I don't... Uh, no, I, I think it's pretty solid that however it came from. There are two people there already. That's true. We were both there. Immediately arrested. Yeah, objection. Fuck you. <laughs> there's your first... There's your first, uh... In, in uh, inconsistency. What's your reason? Why, well, we had a witness account describing her. Did you know beforehand? You didn't say you had a witness. I, I was there, dude. You didn't say anything about her being the descri described culprit. I can't see a single contradiction. You were there! You were there when he made the arrest! I'll just have to take my advice. But he- okay, we'll, we'll get something else done, I guess, I don't know. You had a witness. You didn't, though! She didn't describe shit! Yeah? I heard correctly. You said you arrested her because you had hard evidence. Did I say that? I heard you say it. You said it. Everyone's- yeah, uh, What about the suspicious woman in pink- Yeah, what- yeah. What was the description? Can we get the description? She is pink, I've seen her. Are you colorblind? I think we can discredit him right there and then. He didn't- this guy didn't think that she was pink. She's of course fucking pink. Yeah, okay, good, thank you. Yeah. Fucking remove this man from the court. Bailiff, take him away. Uh, do you have any more solid proof other than the fact she's pink? Um... Yeah, of course. Well, we'll nail him then. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up. There's something I should have told you about first. Yeah, it's here again. Why is the judge saying all this? He's not the lawyer. Okay. So after securing the suspect, examine the scene of the crime. Fine. Found a memento written up- Okay, yeah, this is where we can fucking nail him because, of course, this is not sufficient evidence. Yeah, I'm going right to the fucking jugular with this one. How do you like that? I love that. Thanks for setting me up for a fucking home run, dude. Okay, so before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, detective. Why didn't you testify the vital piece of evidence? Unless you were the killer! I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it. Well, he is semi-fucking brain-dead, so I guess that's excusable. Try to be more careful. Oh, I'm gonna totally discredit this guy. He's stupid as shit, and the cold court's gonna know it. Whole jury will be on my side, it'll be great. Hard evidence, chapter three. So, examine the scene of the crime with your own eyes. You, you do have some. A memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya. That's all true, but... Okay, it could have been her blood, yes. There's, there's no more blood. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. I have heard nothing about that, but let's say it's true. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name, objection, that's fucking complete opinion. Yeah. Sure, it happens all the time, but... Oh, okay. Well, you got me there. Alright. This isn't the movie, Detective. It's about to be, though. Oof. Let's talk about it in reality. Yeah, why would the killer let her do that? She died instantly. The killer's just not gonna let her... <laughs> so they had to have no so the killer would have intervened if she was just like writing that down, right? Preposterous. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially if their name is their own especially if they've they're fucking they're being murdered? That couldn't have fucking happened. You got a point, thank you. I should be I should have your job. I should have all the jobs. It should just be up to me to decide who's responsible for what here. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. That's true, too. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. 
Is that is that for sure? Should we definitely go with that? The victim told us the name of her killer. That's not fact. We have yet to prove that. I didn't go so well. Why not? That went perfectly. You you nailing this guy. What he said. That's his whole testimony. Okay. There has to be a contradiction in there. Yeah, okay, so... Also, there's blood on Victor's feet before she died. You can't... I, I, I wanna... This couldn't have happened. She died instantly. How could she have been bleeding from her wound and written down the name in her blood if she died instantly? Absolutely, I'll object to that again. Detective Gumshoe. Oh, it's just the same thing. Okay. But that couldn't have happened! Why can't I... Oh, wait, can I... Oh, I used the evidence thing. Okay, I didn't do it right. Oh, use the court record. So, here's the autopsy report. Yeah. Oh, I gotta use that. Okay. I didn't do it right, I'm sorry. <laughs> this happens a second time. <laughs> okay, wait. So, I gotta use a piece of evidence. Uh, at that. Okay, but... Okay, th there is. I know it for sure. Yes, that could not have happened. Objection! Detective Gumshoe, you fucking dumb as shit. Oh, you say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. Am I cross-examining? I didn't even realize I started my cross-examination. That's what you're saying? She couldn't have, though, dude. She died instantly. You have it backwards. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. Because this report from your department, immediate death due to a blunt object blow. Yeah, she died right away. You couldn't have written it down. No butting your way out of this one, dick. Dick detective. No dick butts in court. All right, the defense has a point. Yeah, I do. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course I have a point. I should just be every detective, every lawyer. What I say just goes. If I want someone in jail, they're fucking in jail. I'm the smartest guy. Ah. All right. Anyway, someone who died immediately would not have time to. Yeah. Good. Good call. How's it going, man? Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but what exactly did you obtain, obtain that autopsy report? When? The day after the murder, the day of the murder. It was the day after, wasn't it? It wasn't the day of, because it was the next morning. It was the day after the murder. That autopsy report is outdated. What do you mean? Updated like what? A second autopsy report was performed yesterday? What? I don't know what the timeline is right now. Wait, if there was another... Why wasn't I informed of that? This was almost immediate. This possibility lived for several minutes. I don't... Okay, but you can't just deprive me of fucking evidence. I... I'm the lawyer. I'm allowed to know this stuff. I would have known about this. I see the reports this morning. And he didn't, t and he didn't tell anyone? Like he just kept it? You can't just deprive me of info, dude. We have to have a fair trial here. He gives a little bow. <laughs> totally theatrical about it, at least. I like him. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. You just nail him on that if you want. I think Edgeworth's the culprit. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? I'm a sham. Oh, I almost clicked that one by accident. I almost clicked I'm a sham by total... Oh, that would have been bad. Okay, the detective is a sham. You're a sham. The detective is a fuck- what, Do I have to pick one person to be a sham? Can I not pick anyone to be a sham? I don't want to insult the co- Well, the detective's kind of fucked up. Let's just nail him. Yeah, this detective sucks. Detective Gumshoe, you're the worst. How could you give me a faulty report? I thought- Yeah, you suck, dude. You should be arrested for just incompetence. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, everyone hates him now. 
I'm gonna get fired. Good. He's not gonna be a cop. He's not gonna be a detective anymore, and I'll have to legally change his name, and we'll all be at the courtroom for it. I'm disappointed in you handing him the rug. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> this is the best game. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy right now. I'm the best lawyer. Alright, I don't even care if I lose anymore. That was the best. Alright. <sighs> yeah, let's see that evidence. <clears throat> I, I'm so glad I didn't accidentally click I'm a sham. Holy shit. Okay, well, your honor. We'll, we'll still we'll still get you off the hook, Maya. We, we've got a case still. No problem, I just wanted to take that fucking detective down, he sucks. Alright. This isn't good. Well, it's not- it's not over. We're still going. 